Hi everybody, it's Ginger here with Pet Services Pro, a show for you and your pets. So if you're looking for information on proper supplements such as vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and so forth, then you are in the right place. I'm about to reveal some of the top supplements available to help your dog maintain good health at any age and don't have to wonder if they will help or not, or if you have to give your dog every one of them and learning a lot of obscure scientific words that you can't pronounce. I understand that your dog's health is so totally important to you, but don't worry because today I'm going to share with you the best supplements for your dog. We're going to answer the question, does my dog need supplements? So let's get into it. So the question is, does your dog really need supplements? Preferably they should be getting all their nutrients they need from their foods. The thing is, wild dogs and the domestic dogs of the past hunted and foraged for their own diet and chose the foods that their instincts told them to eat. They got their vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and so forth naturally, but they didn't live as long as the modern domestic dog either. We're not seeing diseases in dogs that were once never found in the canine list of diseases. Conditions such as heart disease, liver disease, diabetes, allergies, and cancer. These conditions are very common in dogs now. We can probably attribute a lot of those cases to diet. Commercial dog food is supposed to have all the needed nutrients in them, but there are so many grades of quality, it's very hard to judge, and people buy dog food according to what they can afford. Most high-end, expensive foods, such as a good amount of nutrients that are formulated for your dog's daily needs, but lower price kibbles usually don't have everything your dog needs. Some reason may be that the kibble is highly processed and under high heat, which alters or destroys a lot of important vitamins. Also, while they do fortify the kibble with canned f and canned foods with added vitamins and minerals, those vitamins and minerals are not necessarily in a form that the dog's body can assimilate easily, therefore they may not be utilizing them. Also, those foods may not add in important supplements such as probiotics, prebiotics, and other things like that. So adding a supplements could be the answer. What are the basics of dog's diet? Dogs, like most animals, need vitamins, probiotics, minerals, proteins, fats, carbs, fatty acids, and of course the most important nutrient of all, water. Dogs get a lot of their carbs, proteins, and fats from meat. They're mostly carnivores, but also can digest some plant-based foods too. They have a shorter digestive tract designed to digest meat. Vitamins and minerals are contained in the meats too, but added vitamins and minerals come from plant material they eat. Essential fatty acids usually come from oils such as fish and fish oil. Prebiotics feed the good gut bacteria that are naturally found in the gut and can be found in plant matter and pure probiotics are friendly good bacteria and yeast that help create a healthy gut and immune system. These are usually supplemented and are also added to higher end foods. So what supplements might our dogs need? All the ones mentioned in this video are helpful to any age, but some will help certain conditions better than others or maybe better for puppies or better for older dogs. While I can't cover all conditions, I will mention some of the more common ones here. First, let's go over the list of the common supplements. Glucosamine and chondroitin are a lot of times given together, but can be separate too. This is used for joint pain. It supplements and strengthens cartilage. This one is great for dogs with arthritis to support the joints and help bring down inflammation and pain associated with it. It also is great for active dogs and working dogs because it helps support their joints from wearing out too quickly. Fish oil. Fish oil is a great source of essential fatty acids, also known as omega-3 and omega-6. Be careful to purchase cold processed salmon oil from wild caught salmon. This oil is not highly processed. Omega-3 reduces inflammation and helps reduce the itch and swelling of skin allergies as well as generally supporting the skin and coat. Omega-6 boosts the immune system. Since fish oil contains omega-3 and 6, it's a great supplement to add to your dog's food once or twice a day or as recommended by your vet. 
This one is great for all ages from puppies through senior dogs. Antioxidants are vitamins. They attach to ions in the body that can cause cell damage and neutralize them. Who doesn't need these? The body can store some, but not all. Ideally, dogs should get them from their food, but in the current world, this isn't always possible. So with so many different kinds of qualities of dog food, dogs not, may, may not be receiving the recommended daily allowance of vitamins they need. Pet stores carry a various array of vitamin supplements for your dog and also your vet can suggest some too. Try to get the best ones you can afford, preferably sourced from food-based sources rather than manufactured in a lab. Again, ask your vet for some recommendations. Prebiotics are enzymes that help your dog's digestive system. A healthy gut leads to a healthy body. They are foods the body doesn't easily digest, but instead feed the good gut bacteria and yeast that live in the lower intestine and help maintain a healthy gut. They're good for calcium absorption and help keep blood sugar even. Examples you might find on your dog's food ingredients list may be chicory and inulin. Probiotics. Probiotics are good gut flora that help create a healthy gut and in turn a healthy immune system. Good bacteria and bad both live in the gut. The gut is healthy when both are in balance. The good bacteria keeps the bad ones in check. Some of the ones you may see on the dog food label are Lactobacillus acidophilus, Enterococcus facium, Lactobacillus casei. Pumpkin. What? Pumpkin? Yeah, pumpkin. While you would call that food a, rather than a supplement, it's awesome. It's a good extra thing to add to your dog's food. Keep in mind that this is the regular canned pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie filling. Don't get those confused. Just plain canned pumpkin. But why is it so good? Because it relieves both diarrhea and constipation. Yeah, both in dogs. The fiber in this vegetable can help move things through when he is constipated, but it can also absorb moisture and help relieve diarrhea. Don't use too much, just a spoonful. Milk thistle. Milk thistle is a rather powerful antioxidant that has even been formulated in prescription form. Veterinarians prescribe milk thistle when the liver needs to be protected. Dogs who have liver disease and who need to increase their immune systems. Not only that, it's wonderful for detoxing the system, reducing inflammation, and helping the body regenerate and heal cells. Pretty cool stuff. It can also be a great supplement that can be found over the counter too. Water. While water is not a supplement, it is important to mention here that water is the most important nutrient for every living thing. But the modern tap water is not the best for your dog due to the additives that are put into it. Most municipal water sources are clean and have a safe level for microorganisms, but they add chlorine, bromine, fluoride, and other things to keep it sanitary and sure that it's a good pH level, which in most cities should be neutral. Your local water board will be able to tell you how they process the water in your area. Chlorine, while they say it is at a safe level for humans, still may not be that safe for pets. Filtered water is best. It removes a lot of things from the water. Bottled water too, but that requires buying a filter system or bottled water. So at least you can eliminate the chlorine by letting the water sit out on the counter in a jug overnight and the chlorine will dissipate. Coenzyme Q10. I saved this one for last. This one is quite interesting. Coenzyme Q10 is found in animal muscle and other tissue that use a lot of energy in the body. Animals naturally produce it, but as they age, they produce less. Coenzyme Q10 in cells converts carbs and oxygen and creates energy. Besides energy production, this supplement works as a powerful antioxidant and is pretty amazing for inflammation treatment. It's even used to treat some cancers. Dogs with arthritis or other joint concerns can benefit from coenzyme Q10. Older dogs have been shown to have increased energy and some dogs have even had reduced gum disease using this supplement. 
Dogs with heart disease, neurological conditions, and older dogs over 7 years old are great candidates for coenzyme Q10. Talk to your veterinarian about using this one. It should not be given to anyone on blood thinners and blood pressure medications. So if you're interested in discovering more about ways you can keep your dog healthy, then be sure to check out Raw Food Diets for Dogs at the first link in the description. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you learn about great pets for you and more. So I will see you in the next video. Take care.